history, all four belts in the Cruiserweight division will belong proudly around the waist of one man. Size. Yeah, he's scared. He's scared. He intimidated. He fears me because he never had a person like me to step to him. He never had a person to me look him in his eyes like he is. And I can't wait. I'm the best in America. I'm the best in the world. And I'm going to keep saying and I'm going to keep proving it to the world. I am a king. I'm a black king of that. And I'm going to show the world who I really am. If they like, they say I'm talking too much, then hey, come and shut me up. Because when I was quiet, they was complaining. So when I'm loud, they still complaining. So it don't matter. So while I'm the champion and I'm loud, I'm going to continue to be loud. Because if I'm loud and proving myself each and every time in the ring, <laughs> That just made me continue on to be con to continue on to say what I mean and mean what I say. I'm the best in the world. And anybody got the dignity and got the heart to prove me wrong, then come and step in front of me. Come and step in the ring with me and show me. Right now, come and shut this loud mouth up. I want to be shut up. I want the world to see this. I want the world to witness this. Any heavyweight champion, any heavyweight contender, once I unify the division, those that have been waiting, those that have been calling me out, they will get their opportunity as well. I will swipe the heavyweight division out, clean slate, and then I can let go of my belts and, hey, let somebody else enjoy it. Saturday night is going to be special. We got to keep in mind, I blessed him with this opportunity. I could have ran. I had all the excuses in the world to run, but I still chose to fight him because I am a champion. I'm a champion heart. How many, how, many, how many other champions had the opportunity to fight Luis Ortiz, but they ran? We talk about Joshua all the time, but they didn't want to fight Luis Ortiz. Look at all these other folks, they ran from him. But look at me, baby, showing that I am the best, proving that I am the best each and every time I step in the ring. And come Saturday night, it won't be no lesser than what I say it's going to be. This is the most exciting fight in boxing right now, baby. King Kong versus the King. The bronze bummer. What's the biggest statement Deontay you can make? Deontay Wilder. What's the biggest statement you can make, sir? Face down, ass up. <laughs> hey, champ, you gonna be at the, uh, the Anthony Joshua Crawford fight? Well, Scott Sports has hired me to commentate, so unfortunately, I will be there and um, witness witness a good fight. May the best man wins. We all know who we want to win. The world wants to know. No, the world know who. They want to win, and we'll see what happens. But I, I, I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm going to do whatever I got to do. Since he haven't heard me say anything, then, hey, now the man himself there with the voice, with, this, with coming to him and telling him, don't wait. Eddie Hearn said you live in fantasy, fantasy land. Can yeah, Eddie Hearn, Eddie Hearn is just another white man milking a black man. That's all it is. It's easy. It's about time for somebody to say it and come out with it. And I don't hold my, my voice, I don't have no filter, and I speak what I say because that's his actions. That's his manual, what he's been doing. He's been milking Annabelle. And Joshua been letting it because if Joshua really want this fight, he know how to make it happen. They say they got so many things going on. I, I, I pay the side, sit aside money with my, my mandatories. That's easy. That can be happy. Get the fans what they want to see. People want to see it right now. They hide behind all these different things. I made them many offers. They talking about offers. Every last calls, one of them declined. Stuff, right? They that came to America talking about another fighter. They didn't even mention him. But they want to go back and run back and talk about we didn't offer them. Get the, that's bullshit. Yeah. The British fans soak everything up this man say. But in the end, they're going to look stupid. They're going to look stupid. I can't wait. Y'all ain't never seen a fighter with so much desire and, oh my God. Two more questions. Have you London for that? Two more questions. Have you worked on anything different? Have you believe Ortiz's story about the blood pressure? Come on, man. <laughs> How all of a sudden this man get on blood pressure pills when he started to fight me? You ain't hear about it the last fight. You didn't hear about it the last fight after that. You ain't hear about it the last fight after that. Why all of a sudden this man on blood pressure pills with me? Why all of a sudden he training like his life depend on with me? You didn't see him running no motherfucking miles in, in, you know, with no other fighter. His last fight, you didn't see him running the last fight before that. Why is it with me? Because they know they in the fight of their life. And you should train. Every fighter that fights me train like their life depend on it. Like they going into a draft or something. Like they fighting for their country. Every fighter, everyone, they should. They should because when the Bronx bummer get in there, baby, it's a wrap. So, but only thing with the blood pressure pills, it's a masking agent. We gotta be careful. I called this fight man versus machine a long time ago. And we gotta be careful. We gotta be careful because he still could be doing this. 
Don't be fooled by the slim gyms. Don't be fooled by the working out and the running and stuff like that. It's still a masking agent at its best. And the people that he's been dealing with, they know how to do it. They know how to do it. Last question. Did you go to London for the I go anywhere in the world. What's I about to go to Russia? London. Yeah. I go anywhere in the world. When we when we when we when we um when we go to Mars and, and, and make living there, shit, we can go there and fight too. <laughs> You know what I mean? I go anywhere in the world. I'm the heavyweight champion of the world, so that means travel all over the world. Where it's safe for me to go, where it's safe for my family, where it's safe for friends to go, I'll be there. That's no problem for me. Would it be a bigger statement to beat him in London as well? Uh, most definitely. And once I whoop him in London, we can come to America and whoop him again. Yeah, I, asked right. him, I asked him, what do you see in your eyes? You see, you see the scared man. Nah, baby, you don't see no fear in my eyes. I ain't scared of no man. There's no man I'm afraid of ever on this earth. I wasn't raised like that. I wasn't born like that. It wasn't applied in my heart, baby. This is what I do. No man can ever say he looked into my eyes and seen fear because fear don't exist there. There's no home for fear in my heart. The things I'd have been through, the shit I had to go through, fear don't exist in my heart. You better ask about me. <laughs> That's it, guys. You gotta ask about me. Last time in history, all four belts in the cruiserweight division will belong proudly around the waist of one man.